Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log in to your Amazon EC2 instance without key pair. I mean, if you have lost your key pair, how to log in to that and how to recover that key. All right, so this is one of the important thing because most of them forget to download the key or they misses out the uh, keys that they have downloaded right so in that scenario how to log into that machine i'm going to show you now okay so we are going to follow a simple four step procedure here okay so the first step is to take the snapshot of the current state of the ec2 instance so that whatever the data that is stored in that particular ec2 instance it is safe and secure okay so the next thing is to create an ami from the snapshot that we created okay so if you do not know how to take snapshot or if you do not know how to create an ami i have i'm going to show you that but if you do not know how to take snapshot of an ec2 instance i will be making a separate video and i will drop the link to that in the description box okay so the third step is to create a new EC2 instance from the AMI that we created in the step two. So in the step two, we are going to create an AMI and by using that AMI, we are going to create a new EC2 instance with a new key pair. We, with that, we will be able to log into the new EC2 instance that we connect, right? And also the data that was in EC2 instance one that will be secure and it will be available in the second EC2 instance also. And let us verify by logging into the new EC2 instance with a new key pair. Okay. So I've already created one EC2 instance. Okay. So assuming that I have lost the key for that. Okay. So let, let me show you in the console. So this is the EC2 instance that I am assuming that I have lost the key pair for this right so ec2 lost key pair okay so i have the key pair with me right now but i am assuming that i have lost that key pair i'm no i'm not going to use that key pair anywhere okay so to just to make sure whether all the copies are uh, of our data that we have stored in this ec2 instance are getting copied to the second one let's connect to this first by using ec2 instance connect method this step is just to show you uh, to confirm whether we are successfully able to you know take the snapshot and do it right so in real world you will not be able to log in right so let me do ls lrt right now if you see i have created five files okay so in the new ec2 instance that we create it should also contains contain these five files okay so let us you know look into one of the file for example cat file 4 maybe so if you see this is the data that is inside cat file 4 okay so let us take the snapshot of this current state of this ec2 instance okay so right now i'll uh, exit out of it so you got a confirmation that we have four Oh, sorry five files that are inside this current ec2 instance okay in real world without keeper you will not be able to log in right so i am just assuming that i have lost the key pair for this okay so now what we're going to do right is to create the snapshot of this volume okay so how to do that come all the way down under elastic block store you have something called as volumes click on that so this is the volume that has been attached to the ec2 instance that was up and running right so let us see that okay so if you see this is the uh, ec2 instance id so if you see let me copy this ec2 instance id and also open instances in the new tab just to verify if we if this is the volume that is attached to the ec2 instance okay so let me search for that if you see this is the ec2 instance 1187 1187 right both are matching this is the volume let us take the snapshot of this one how to do that select that volume and under actions you know you take a sna create snapshot okay click on create snapshot you need to fill in some details here so description would be a uh, restore ec2 without key pair 
okay so this is the description and create snapshot so this will take a couple of minutes to take the snapshot because uh, all the data inside that volume should be uh, you know taken so it will take a couple of minutes to take the snapshot so i will stop the recording now and i will come back once the snapshot is ready as we saw we have taken the snapshot now let us go and verify if the snapshot is taken all right so how to check so under block storage you have snapshots come there so if you see this is the snapshot that i just created if you remember the description that i gave is restore ec2 without key pair and this is the snapshot id and this is taken right so it is available right now okay so what we have done is we have taken the snapshot of the current state of ec2 instance now the next step is to create an ami from the snapshot cream created that means amazon machine image should be created from the snapshot that we have just created okay so to do that select the snapshot under actions the second option create image from snapshot click on that it will start creating an image from the snapshot okay so i'll just name name this as ami snapshot key pair key pair lost okay so i will name that as uh, like that the name of the image let me give that name and also copy the same to the description also and architecture i'm okay with that and hardware please make sure that you select hardware assisted virtualization when you go going with this method okay so everything leave that as default and click on create image so this will take you know couple of minutes to create an image from the snapshot that we have created okay so let me come back when the once the image has been created okay okay now let's go and check if the image has been created or not okay so to do that go to images under images you see an option called amis right so click on that if you see this is the ami that got created by the snapshot right so if you read the description you will understand so if the ami name is ami snapshot key pair lost this is the name that i just gave right so the next step is to create an ec2 instance to create a new ec2 instance from the ami that we created and provide the new key pair to that ec2 instance right so because we have lost the key pair so we will create a new one and use that one for the new ec2 instance that we create from the ami this is step number 3 okay so let me do that so this is the ami how to create a new ec2 instance check that uh, ami and go to actions if you see there is an option to create a ec2 instance right so if you see this box orange launch ec2 launch instance from ami if you click on that you will be redirected here to launch an ec2 instance page you just need to give a name for example in my case i'm going to give ec2 new key pair because this this is the ec2 instance that we are creating with a new key pair okay so and where which image that is being selected image from the snapshot that we have created okay select the instance type right so right now this is the key pair that i have lost so what what you need to do you need to create a new key pair okay so to create just click on create new give the name of the key pair for example new key pair okay i'll just name new kb and i need ppk file because i am going to use putty to log into that machine okay so the key pair name is new kb and the ppk file uh, i'm i'm selecting ppk file and click on create key pair okay so that will get automatically downloaded to my machine okay so i have that file downloaded right now and let let's go with all the things as default i'm not going to alter anything after this just click on launch instance okay so this will launch a new ec2 instance okay so let's see if you see right now so this is the ec2 instance where we lost the key 
so this is the new ec2 instance that we have we are creating from the the lost key pair right so we took the snapshot of that we took the we created an ami and then we are launching a new ec2 instance right so that is that completes step number three for step number four we need to log into this new ec2 instance with a new key pair that we generated right for that the instance needs to be up and running and the status check should pass two by two pass only then i will be able to log in so let's wait till the status check gets passed now if you see our new ec2 instance is up and running and the status check also passed okay so let us try to log into this new ec2 instance with a new key pair that we just created okay so let me select that one okay and if you want to verify what is the public ip what is the private ip and which is the key pair that you are using if you see i'm using new key kp that means new key pair okay so i need to provide that new key pair and log into this machine okay so let me copy the public ipv4 address and let me open uh, an application called putty so if you do not know how to connect to an ec2 instance or how to create an ec2 instance i have made a separate video you can watch that and uh, log into that ec2 instance okay so for this i need the public ip address let me open putty and uh, let me go to ssh i need to provide the host name host name is nothing but your public ip address okay come to auth and provide the key pair so that you just download it you need to browse click on browse so it will show the key pairs here so this is the new key p that we want to use to log in so let me provide that and click on open okay so accept this and it is asking login as by default it will be ec2 user see now i was able to log into this ec2 instance but the thing is you need to be able to see those files those five files that we have created in the last ec2 instance right so let us check if we have that right so just run ls hyphen lrt command and if you find those files you are good right so we have not not lost any files here so we are safe for example we saw what is inside uh, the file four right so let us do the same thing cat file four see file four so you can verify if, it, if you have got the correct data inside right so this is how you can restore your key pair if you have lost it and create a new ec2 instance and launch uh, launch a new key pair for that and log into that right so this is a simple four step that you can follow i will also make sure to drop this in the description box below okay so all right so that's it for today's video thank you